what Xenium really is able to do is merge this more traditional microscopy based type of looking at biology, like the new single cell gene expression technologies allowing us to look at our cells at the subcellular resolution and to look at these single transcript molecules exactly where they are found in the tissue. You want a method that will give you both the high sensitivity that you need so that you can detect your boldly expressed genes. You want the high specificity because you want to make sure that the signal you're reading is the right signal, that you do not have uh, any false positives. We're sending out these probes those are so specific that they're really able to discriminate between small, subtle differences in, in, in those sequences. We are actually uniquely able to analyze isoforms and even go down to the single nucleotide level, which is very unique for, for Xenium. Once these probes have found their target sequences and these probe ends are ligated, we're then amplifying these ligated molecules by uh, rolling circle amplification. So this makes a clonal amplification copy of, of those uh, probe sequences on the spot of where that original molecule was located. We introduce these barcodes into the, into the sample that tags all of these different genes. And we're then reading out those barcode sequences through a iterative imaging and hybridization cycle. We can decode these and a researcher can see hundreds of transcripts within the cell and see actually the subcellular resolution of, of where are those transcripts located. Xenium is very flexible, it's very easy to use and gives you a very fast turnaround time. You can just start your assay and walk away. It just opens up new areas of understanding how basic biology works and then also how Biology can go wrong in disease. The ability to make these kinds of measurements is going to be impactful in diagnostics, be impactful in people really understanding how to develop the best therapies. I see it really having just a huge impact in human health.